When I teach about a spiritual detox, I always refer to a dietary detox. For context, once you stop eating or consuming things which are bad for you physically, your actual body has to get used to this new diet. In that process, it starts cleaning up all the bad leftovers, so you might get a cold, feel lethargic, get a headache, and so on. That process is how the body rids us of that physical negativity. Then as you eat things good for you, your body starts to thrive. Now this also happens on an energetic level, whereby loving energy is like consuming something good for you. So once all or most of that negative energy is gone, you're primed to elevate yourself. Now to my point. I was chatting with my husband last night and we were discussing the mental diet nowadays, given how much social media and content creation there is. There's so much stuff out there and it gets created and consumed 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, to and from every corner of the planet. We agreed that what we choose to consume mentally is just as important as what we choose to consume physically and spiritually. With all things being equal, we have to ask ourselves, would we purposely look for or allow a negative entity into our aura? Would we purposely and continuously eat, drink, or do something that would be poisonous to us? No, we wouldn't. In fact, we'd do everything to not consume those things which create disharmony in our lives. We avoid them. So staying up to date about the happenings in our world doesn't mean we have to be tapped into the news or social media around the clock. But there seems to be an unspoken expectation that we're all online all the time. And it's easy to forget that we have the choice to not consume this continuous digital feed of stuff just by simply disconnecting from it, even for just a day. And just like a dietary or spiritual detox, your mind will then be primed to elevate and improve itself. Keep in mind though, if you do remove yourself from the digital world for a day, there's likely going to be a detox the cravings to know what's going on, to see what bad things or good things are happening, and so on are all going to happen. And what's more, other people are going to ask, where are you? Where did you go? Just remember what you choose to consume mentally, which is everything you watch, everything you listen to, you read, you share online, forms part of your mental diet. So is it time for a break, a little digital fasting, so to speak? If so, let this be your sign to give yourself a breather from it all. Thank you so much for your time, sweet friends. Namaste and big love to you.